Now then, I um, decided I was going to mess around with the uh, jets in my car again, so I thought I'd get it on video. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is drill the main jet uh, from stock uh, uh, 168 out to either 1.8 or 1.9, which would make it a 180 or a 190. I'm going to start with 180, excuse me, 180 first, I think. Um, and thought I'd uh, bring you along. A friend of mine has donated a stock jet, so I have my own stock jet if I do happen to blow it up or anything, which is very likely. Um, if you're trying to attempt this yourself, I'm not responsible for you killing yourself. Um, and I highly recommend, like I have done, you make sure your carburetor is absolutely as clean as physically possible because you don't want any gunk or anything getting inside because um, that could be detrimental. Um, I've already made a lot of modifications to this carb and I don't know what I'm doing, so you follow at your own risk. Uh, right, now, before we get started, uh, one of the nice videos I put up the other day, um, somebody commented that they didn't like the music, which happened to be Soulfly, and um, apparently that's just for teenagers. Um, so I thought I would put something much nicer on in the background and calm and polite. Um, so we have Mudvayne. Right, so first thing I'm going to do, now that I've cleaned everything, is I'm going to take... Uh, T25 Torx, I believe. T25? No, T20. I can't remember. Uh, these aren't the standard bolts that come with, um, that actually come with this carb. Um, I've had this apart before and it gets annoying with the shitty quality little stupid screws that they use, so I replaced the uh, top and the bottom pieces, just whatever, with these Torx things which are much better and also stainless. If I start slurring my words it is because I'm getting high from the petrol fumes. Quite quickly. Woohoo, floppy. Right, so uh, this should be a relatively quick procedure actually. Um, unless of course I've forgotten anything that I need. Right now, like I said, make sure everything's nice and clean before you take this apart. Oh no, please don't say I've got to take that stupid bastard nut thing off and then... Uh, I am as well, Anta. You twat! Uh, right, so we are going to have to go and get a adjustable adjustable uh, I'm not going back out soon uh, I'll be back Ta-da! Right, so all I'm going to do here is I need to remove the thing that does the what's it um, and without that of course your bike won't run because it will do something different. So I need to remove this. Come on you bar steward. There we go. So now we can take the thing off. Uh, 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 uh. And of course, if like me, you've cleaned everything, you won't have little bits of crystalline salt um, trying to fall into all the main components of your carburetor. Ah, some kind of sender. <coughs> Right, so now we can get inside the gut. Ta da! Ooh. Right, so now I've already drilled out my uh, pilot jet, uh, uh, which is a 50 from standard, and I've gone out to 60. Uh, don't need to start the bike up with a choke or anything, it's really quite good. Um, 
Du, du, du. Now what I do need, which I am probably not going to have, is a flat bladed screwdriver that will fit inside that little bastard there. And guess what? I fucking don't. Right, so once again, I'll be back. So now we have a tool to remove the offending jet. Uh, that has a hole of uh, 1.68 millimeters, uh, so it is a 168 jet. So, well, rather than taking this one out of its little packet, I might as well just use the one that came out. It saves fanning about. So, double check uh, that is that's not very close to I'll tell you what Lee if you're watching that's meant to be 1.8 um, that's 1.73 according to my calipers which are pretty damn accurate let's see what this 1.9 is then oh the 1.9 just happens to be 1.81 so fuck it let's drill it out with a bigger one um, so for this, I am going to be using a pin vise, which is a specialist little tool um, that holds the jet in place while I hand drill it out. I'm a fuck, I'm using a Dremel. I might have to go up in stages. It's more sociable. Okay, so looks like I might have to go even smaller again. Uh... No, nope, there we go. So we're now at about 1.73. Or an 173. This is likely to spin off and go in my eye. Ah, there we have it. We now have, I don't know if you can see there, a bigger jet. Now for the reassembly process, take our nice clean carburetor.
not over tight but tight enough and back on with the top cover And because you've cleaned it, you don't need to worry about any bits of mud or shit or salt or anything getting in there. You can just throw it back together. Yeah, do not over tighten these. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it is a ball ache. Uh, right, so now unfortunately, I've now completely wrecked my air fuel mixture. So, what I'm going to do is while this is off. One, two, just over two and a half. Lost count. One, two, where it was and now it's a little bit more for good measure I was going to say I'd rather run too rich than too lean however having just drilled that fucker out I don't think I'm going to have any major dramas right so let's put the hoojima flip hoojima what's it my bob jiggly thing back in the hole so it can do whatever it does Now make sure you remember to put this back on otherwise you'll find that something won't work. Now we take our nice clean carburetor and reassemble it. And see if our engine blows up. And if you ever need to increase the height of your tripod without going outside and getting dirty, highly recommend gunpowder.